This is Mike Murphy from the Land Events Tomorrow Boxing out here in Long Island. We're watching Ring Fever. There is no cure. This is Costas Grimal. I think he's got one of the best, brightest futures out there. A lot of the fighters that I've seen come and go, they all want to get in the ring. Everybody wants to go to heaven. Nobody wants to die to get there. The whole thing with the fighter is to keep your game plan and never to stray from it. And the other fighter's job is to make you break your game plan and fight his fight. Originally, my father started the Veterans Ball Boxing Club back in 1967. Back then, that was before Kung Fu came on TV and the Green Hornet with uh, Bruce Lee. Nobody knew what martial arts was or any of the arts. And that's how we started. Being that we come from a boxing family, my grandfather, my great grandfather, and my father, he, uh, he turned into a boxing gym. And I started a boxing program, and this one kid was a kickboxer but he was gonna go into a professional kickboxing fight without even having an amateur fight. And one of the kids I was training. That's such a good idea. Though. Yeah, he was yeah. telling him, like, look, I don't know if you should do that. He says, well, I'm gonna go down and at least try my hands first. I'll go down to a gym, maybe call Murphy and see if he gets in. And that's how I ended up coming here. We, I talked to one of the kids. There was only like three or four fighters at that time that were coming to the gym. It was kind of one of down. Hector Rodriguez, I told him, look, you gotta beat the hell out of this kid for me. I said, if you don't beat him up, I said, he's gonna end up going into this pro fight, he might end up get killed. So I said, at least, you know, go in there and do what you gotta do to him. He said, you sure? I said, yeah. I said, you're doing him a favor. So he did, he beat him up and the kid didn't go. And Mrs. Howe just talked to me on the side. She said, look, my, my son's running it now and he's having problems. He goes, if you can come down once or twice, you know, once or twice a week, just to help out. So that's when I started. I started coming down there on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Now you're here, you're in green. Uh, show, show this is it now, baby. I took it over in the following year. In 2002, I had my first Golden Glove champ, that was Adam Willett. 2005, we, he ended up taking a national championship. I had Leo Green win the world championship. We just started moving. And we ended up having more national champions and more international world champions than any other gym in the history of Long Island. In 2011, the first time in uh, Long Island is we ended up with four Golden Globe champions. Out of all the gyms, individual gyms, we're the only gym that had four uh, actually go to the you know, go to the finals and win all four. Uh, as an individual club, the only individual club, one gym, one set of coaches, one site, uh, we ended up with four champions. So it was a big event for us and for Long Island boxing. Beltran. I'm the owner of East West MMA of Selden, and I used to be a former professional fighter myself. Spent many years uh, training, fighting, and uh, being in the mix of the whole combat game. How'd you get started? I got started with my big brother. No, my big brother used to, uh, he was a lot shorter than me, and he used to tell people, hey, my, my little brother will go kick your butt. All of a sudden, he'll pull me out the back, I'm six foot three. <laughs> He's five foot nine, and uh, that's how I got my fight career started. So I'm 5'9", man, you going to kick my ass? Absolutely not. <laughs> the fighters are the least people you have to worry about, you know? We're, we're all about the sport, and we don't want to break our hands on civilians. <laughs> What's going on with your school now, man? My school's doing really well. Uh, we have over 100 students now. Uh, we have uh, five fighters that are undefeated, uh, 11 wins and no loss under the records. And we primarily focus on MMA, but since I have a background in boxing, my striking and the uh, ability for boxing technique really carries them through their MMA fights. How do you stay relaxed in the ring? Um, it just comes from, uh, from being taught to stay relaxed all the time. Eventually the fear is gone. You know, you're not scared to fight anymore. And uh, just from, from re repeatedly training and fighting and doing different shows, it kind of uh, embeds within you to always stay calm. You know, and also whenever you feel doubt, your trainer's voice always carries through. He'll talk to you, he'll, uh, he'll get you ready, he'll get you uh, physically in shape, 
And without having to worry about your fighting techniques or conditioning, everything else pretty much comes easy. Tell us about the fighter here. Well, this is Costas Grimales. He's from Greece, and uh, he's amazing. He's one of those people with natural, natural ability that uh, just comes out there. He's got a, a ton of heart. Uh, I got involved with uh, Coach Bobby as his fight manager, just trying to help out, get the right fights. And uh, Costas right now, 3-0, first round wins. We took him to Puerto Rico, Memorial Day weekend, and he tapped out his opponent with a nice uh, arm triangle, a leg tri triangle. Yeah, triangle, yeah, triangle choke. Triangle. Uh, it was exciting, probably the best fight of the night. So now on the 25th at uh, Master Luneglia's uh, cap combat at the Capital, we uh, we have a, a nice fight scheduled. And uh, as soon as he goes through that one, um, we're going to be setting him up with a, uh, a nice uh, title fight for a belt on a regional level. And then to uh, one more fight after that uh, on a state to get the uh, WKA belt and then uh, turn Costas pro. So you like getting hit then? Because <laughs> it takes a special person, man, to get in the ring and fight and get himself beat up a little bit. I mean, we learned how to not get hit. So, so far, I've only been hit once in three fights. <laughs> about your, your fighting game. My fighting game? Yeah, your fighting uh, days, man. I fought since I was a little kid. Like I said, you look tough. Yeah, I, I fought. <laughs> I first started on the arts, water and kendo, aikido. Like I said, back then, nobody even knew what it was. They say, you know, stay away from the Murphy brothers. They kick, and but they'll beat you up. Don't say nothing, you know, but they, they know how to fight. But then I turned pro. I went 11-0 and one as a pro. I had one draw, had 11 knockouts. I was. I was being bored up. I was. I had a big draw out here on Long Island. Even though I don't look Irish, I have the Irish name, and everybody knew us. <laughs> My brothers hitting the bars, and you know everybody coming out in busloads. But uh, yeah, I had a good time. Not every kid's going to become a, 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 a Golden Glove champ or a national champion, but they're going to definitely come out as a better person, more disciplined. They're going to have respect for their body, respect for other people, and uh, you know we started from eight years old on up. You know. And they learn that if you, if you put your mind to something, you set a goal and you, and you put a plan and you follow that plan, you, know, you can achieve it. And if you apply that to other areas in your life, you're gonna become successful you know, in everything you do.